things. So let's write out the important things that Sam has. Sam has two t-shirts. He has three pairs of pants and also he has two pairs of sandals. This is what he has. Two t-shirts, three pants and two sandals. It tells us to use something called the F CP, the fundamental counting principle to find out how many different combinations he could wear. So we're talking about if he had his blue t-shirt with his jeans with his um, with his Nike sandals. That would be one of the combinations. But he can switch this up. He can wear any t-shirt with any pair of pants with any sandals. So if we are using the fundamental counting principle, this is the shortcut way to figure out which t-shirt he's going to wear and which pair of pants he's going to wear and which pair of sandals he's going to wear. And it's a very quick way of seeing how many different ways there are of arranging these things. And the fundamental counting principle just means multiply them all together. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 2 is 12. So because the question says to find how many different combinations, our units in this case would be 12 combinations using the fundamental counting principle. Okay, the next part of this question tells us to draw a tree diagram to show his decisions. So a tree always starts with a seed. So does a tree diagram. And so in this case, his first decision may be about the t-shirt. So he has the first t-shirt one to decide and the second t-shirt to decide between. After he has found after he has found and figured out which t-shirt he wants, he then has to figure out which pants he wants, whether he wants to wear pants number one, pants number two, pants number three. And what I've drawn right now is assuming that he's picked out t-shirt number one, but if he picked out t-shirt number two, he would also have the same choice to make. Pants number one, pants number two, or pants number three. And then finally, he would have to decide again after he's chosen the pants which sandals he wants. So, in order to save myself a little bit of work, what I can do is create a new layer. And then we can think, well, you could have sandals number one, or you could have sandals number two. And this is all about sandals. Now, what I've drawn is just assuming that he picked t-shirt number one, pants number one. So what we could also do is we could also copy this layer a bunch of times. So I could also show that he could have, all right, that's not gonna work. So let me just do it manually. So we could have sandals number one, sandals number two, same here. Sandals number one, sandals number two, same here. Sandals number one, sandals number two, same again, sandals one, sandals two. And again, sandals one, sandals two. So this shows us all of the choices that he could have, all 12 combinations, t-shirt one, pants one, sandals one, t-shirt one, pants one, sandals two. And we have 12 things right at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and again, 12 combinations. It's very important that we, that we really do label them and that we show the different options here as well within this category.